Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pike Homestead. My name is Adam and I'm continuing on with my reno in the barn to build a permanent and far better chicken coop for our laying flock. Anyway, uh, so what I've got to get going on today is, uh, you know, if you've been following through our last few videos where I've been working in here, either, you know, taking, <laughs> taking some of the metal fencing out uh, and putting up the lighting and everything like that. Any shot of the floor you'll see, it's a mess because it hasn't been cleaned in an appropriate amount of time. But it is getting to a point now where I need to clean it out, but that's also good because I need to clean it out to do the rest of the work. So I'm going to work on cleaning out the two pens that I want to get started on today. Um, so I want to clean up the floor first and then I've got all the all the feeders and everything for the goats on that wall. They got to move to the other side of the barn so I'm going to be taking those off. Um, actually I'll probably do that first and just drop the hay that's in it in there on the floor and, and clean that all out with it. And then you know when I take it out to the yard the chickens and the goats can all you know scrabble through it as they do uh, to turn it into soil. So I'm going to get started on that. Um, you know thanks for coming along with me today and uh, let's get started. All right, so that's these two pens cleaned out. Uh, that's all I'm gonna do for now, uh, partially because my keen sense of observation has told me that I am hungry and it is time for lunch, uh, but also because I'm not gonna be doing the chicken side just yet. Um, so my goal is just to take out this metal fence here. So that one's definitely coming out today, uh, just because I want to limit the amount of time where, because when I'm working on this, I'm going to have to take out the chicken's feeder. I mean, I'll just scatter food on the ground for them. That'll be fine. But I've got to keep the goats out of it because they will break it, trying to get in and get the grain and, and chicken feed in there. Um, but if I'm throwing it all on the ground, we've just got the granulated layer feed right now. So the goats are unlikely to eat too much of that off the floor, whereas the chickens will be happy scratching and pecking it up. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be doing that, you know, last before I start, you know, putting up the section here. Uh, so interesting thing, it's not all fence here. I mean, I've got the mesh up, but it's actually, there's actually two gates on this wall, if you remember when we put it up. <clears throat> so on this front wall here, there's a gate right here. And at the far end, the short piece there, that's also a gate. So it's, it's really easy to take that out. Uh, so it's just the, the piece in the middle and then the long fence going back to the wall here that I really need to come out. And then that's all the metal on all the broken metal fencing on this side that'll be gone and I can start putting up the uh, the wood and, and chicken mesh fence floor to ceiling get some gates some you know appropriately sized gates for the wheelbarrow in and and we'll be good to go um, so yeah I'm going to go for lunch and then I'll come back and we'll start uh, chopping up this thing Hey, so I've had a break, had some lunch, got some to eat, got a little bit of a rest, and now I'm ready to tackle this broken monster. 
So, you know, this uh, metal fence, it looks like it's only kind of pinned in the floor at two spots, the front and back. And then it's also attached to the wall there. So, uh, those are my points of contact I got to take care of. But, you know, if breaking down the cattle gate and everything taught me anything, it's that uh, you got to make sure you're chopping these off in, bite, in chunks you can actually lift. So, I'm thinking I'll probably start cutting the bars off and go from there. Um, so, I'll just, you know, cut through and, and lop them off. A bunch of them are already broken. Right? You can see here, it's held on by wire. This thing is really patchwork and put together like it's, you know, there's a bunch of stuff soldered to it and everything so that it would work with what was here. So I have no idea how much of this is, uh, is like the original, uh, how it was when it was first built or what. It's, but it's definitely seen a lot of use and a lot of battering um, because cows can be, you know, <laughs> they're big and they like to hit things sometimes. So, you know, they can, they can do a fair amount of damage if they're upset or... You know, if they're hungry and want to get out or something like that. Um, or if they're just scared or something too. Like, <clears throat> uh, I imagine over time from the stories I've heard about some of the cattle that they used to have here, whereas they were, you know, <laughs> had a tendency to be, you know, the crazy cows. Uh, one of our neighbors told us a story about uh, one of the guys here saying he used to love to have the craziest bulls. It didn't, know, it didn't matter what he did, he'd always end up with the crazy ones. And he was stuck just outside the barn here in the yard at one point, up on a fence, because he couldn't make it to the door to a gate because the bull was running around so much that it wouldn't let him out. And he had to wait there pretty much all day till someone came looking for him and he was able to get out. So, you know, things like that will lead to, you know, bent, broken, destroyed, you know, metal fences. So this is the thing that, um, you know, when we were first looking at stuff here, we were considering if we're going to do other animals or something like that, if we had to make proper wooden stalls or anything for if we wanted to do, uh, not necessarily horses, because the ceiling here is really too low for that, but uh, if, uh, if we wanted to do like miniature horses or ponies or something like that, we'd need a proper wooden, uh, wooden stalls for them. And if we we're going to do like these same size stalls, then this would be great to just kind of use as a base to put the boards and everything on. But we're not doing that. We're opening up this entire half here. And they are all in pretty much the same kind of shape. Like they're all kind of welded together and, you know, slapped together in place. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's, it's a couple of years older than I am, if this is what it was like when it was built back in 1975. So it's got, you know, three years on me. So it's, it's definitely seen its time. Uh, and it's showing it. <laughs> of the 16 chicks we, uh, we hatched earlier this year, about seven of them are roosters, and they're all starting to hit that age. So it's another reason why I want to get this done, is because we're going to, you know, make a smaller kind of pen over here. We're going to pretty much probably cut this, not quite in half, maybe, uh, maybe into thirds, give two thirds for, uh, for all the roosters to go in to have a separate rooster coop and have the hens out and the rest of it. And then it'll also be a place for us as we do more hatches and stuff in the future to kind of integrate the, uh, the new chickens, the new chicks as they grow up, have them just across the fence from the rest of them. And, and that way, when we let them in, they're familiar and everything and, and they'll go a little bit smoother. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get uh, working on cutting here. And yeah, see if we can get this out today. If I can get this one out today, that'd be fantastic. I don't think I'm gonna be going on to this one with the, the chicken mesh and everything on it yet. Uh, I'll probably tackle that tomorrow morning. Um, Cause yeah, I've got to take on the, the feeder and stuff for the chickens, like I've said before, um, before we really start tackling that and taking down the chicken mesh and taking down the fence, like all the rest of the metal fences and then start building up the stuff, so. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I'll uh, keep working on that. All right, so let's, uh, let's get going. Hey, so it looks like there was a bit of a problem with the camera there and it just stopped recording about halfway through. Um, but the fence is out completely. 
Uh, I've ground it right down to the to the ground, and uh, it's looking like it's going to be pretty smooth. Thrown my base rail for the new fencing right across it, which I am really happy with. And it's right down to the ground over there at the back end too, so I don't think I need to worry about uh, <clears throat> anything really getting stuck in it. Uh, at a future point, I'll probably uh, pour some concrete or something in it just to uh, just to fill in the hole. But uh, other than that, I think we're in pretty good shape uh, for tomorrow to get started on, you know, the, the next sections there, which, uh, you know, after going through doing a similar fence today, I think I can tackle, you know, pretty effectively tomorrow and, uh, and get those sections out and taken care of as well. And then get started on, uh, on laying my framework for the new fencing. So ideally, uh, by the end of the day tomorrow, in a perfect world, I'd have the basic framework done up and, you know, the same kind of height of, uh, of chicken mesh uh, up and, uh, and covering it. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, we'll, I uh, guess we'll just go over to, uh, next time you'll see me will be tomorrow and we will be starting to work. All right.